1030 this afternoon, call came out, shots fired. That was called in by the Secret Service. Former President Donald Trump is safe and unharmed. Welcome back to Real Talk with Darius. Thank y'all for joining me. Unfortunately, it's under sad news, sad, sad happy news, uh, at least for many of us. Um, President Trump was almost, or well, there was an attempt to assassinate President Trump again, two months later after July 13th, on today, September 15th, 2024. Um, this is incredible. Uh, we're getting ready to cover that uh, briefly here. So just remember to like, comment, subscribe, share your thoughts, set these sets of notifications, and please share this video, share this channel if you enjoy the content that we're providing for you. Um, this is incredible, y'all. We are living in, in historic moments, and this is in absolutely, it's incredible. I mean, it's absolutely amazing to see what the days that we're living in. You know, I, did, I wasn't around when JFK was assassinated. Uh, I was just a little boy when President Reagan there was an attempted assassination on his life. He was shot and thank God he recovered. But these things that are happens, they're not by accident, no coincidence. And the question is why? And we can all speculate. People don't like getting into uh, conspiracy theories. I call them, I call them conspiracy truths uh, because there's a lot of truth behind these things. And just because they're not in the mainstream does not mean they are not real or reality. So anyway, let's go ahead and get, uh, get into this. The FBI is investigating what it's calling a second assassination attempt on former President Donald Trump. He was golfing this afternoon in Florida when the Secret Service noticed a rifle pointing through the bushes on the golf course. In an email to supporters, Trump said he is safe and well. Here's CBS News' Christian Benavides. Former President Donald Trump's campaign says he is safe and unharmed, and the FBI is leading the investigation after an apparent assassination attempt at his West Palm Beach Golf Club on Sunday. 1.30 this afternoon, call came out, shots fired. That was called in by the Secret Service. Former President Donald Trump is safe and unharmed uh, following a protective incident shortly before 2 p.m. on Sunday at Trump International Golf Club at West Palm Beach. Uh, the U.S. Secret Service personnel opened fire on a gunman located near the property line, and this matter is under investigation. Authorities brought a man in custody who they say is a possible suspect in the incident. The FBI released a statement saying it has responded to West Palm Beach, Florida, and is investigating what appears to be an attempted assassination of former President Trump. Trump was playing a round of golf at the time of the incident, which comes about two months after a gunman attempted to assassinate the former president during a rally in Pennsylvania. He posted a message on social media assuring that he is safe and well. Before we continue on, I just want to point that out. Let's read that. There were gunshots in my vicinity. This is President Trump's statement. But before rumors start spiraling out of control, I wanted you to hear this first. I am safe and well. Nothing will slow me down. I will never surrender. I will always love you for supporting me. Now, how many leaders do you know that would have the presence of mind to do those type of things? Just like on a day that he was um, shot because he did get grazed on the ear, but he was shot. Or um, He had the presence of mind to reassure you that he was, he was safe and he was secure. He was fine. He had the presence of mind, and I'm going to play a segment of that clip again from the first uh, assassination attempt, just to remind us what just happened two months ago that the media conveniently forgets. The ABC News uh, in the presidential report, um, debate between uh, Trump and uh, Kamala Harris, or Kamala Harris, the so-called moderators did not moderate well, and I'm not saying it as a partisan, or I mean as a conservative. It's just the truth. But they didn't even ask him. He had to bring that up. They didn't even ask how he was doing or what the, the experience was like. Didn't ask him about it. Uh, ask him about his family. This shows you what these folks are really about. And I appreciate it. I appreciate that you're showing me your true colors. You may not come right out and say it, but I'm glad they're showing us as they have since Trump's presidency in 2016. Well, when he first announced it in 2015, they're showing us what side of the aisle they are on. And no matter what you say or what I say. They're still sticking to their guns. But this is another inspiring moment from President Trump. And saying nothing will slow him down. He wrote, I will always love you for supporting me. 
Two people familiar with the matter told CBS News that a male was seen with a high-powered rifle near Trump International Golf Club. The man was pointing the rifle at the golf course where former President Trump was apparently located at the time. U.S. Secret Service agents engaged the suspect, firing multiple shots. The suspect attempted to flee by foot. Now, in the bushes where this guy was is an AK-47 style rifle with a scope, two backpacks which were hung on the fence that had a ceramic tile in them, and a GoPro. A Justice Department spokeswoman says Attorney General Merrick Garland has been briefed on the situation. Christian Benavides, CBS News, West Palm Beach, Florida. President Joe Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris have been briefed on the investigation. The White House said they are both relieved to know Trump is safe. Local prosecutors say the suspect will be charged at the state level, but could face additional federal charges. If you're turning six. You know, this is absolutely amazing. This is amazing, y'all. We've watched, nearly witnessed, two assassination attempts on one president in our lifetime. In my lifetime. I'm 45 years young. And this is amazing. I was semi-shocked. Now, I'm not shocked they're trying to kill him. They've already proven that. But it's just amazing. It's happening basically on the main screen. Basically. Hmm. This is incredible. And the reason, the question is why? Why would they try to assassinate someone unless they deemed him a threat? Oh, that's right. They have been telling us that they have deemed him a threat. They have demonized Trump and his supporters. They are demonizing over 74, 75 million plus supporters. Not just so much of Trump, but of his politics, his ideas that sound more American, more American first than the other side. Stop getting caught up in the personalities and just listen for the policies. We get too much into our feelings. We're taught to do that. I know the left side plays to that very, very well. I give them kudos. They're very good at what they do. Very evil, too. But this. Let me go on. For, let me just go on. Former President Donald Trump is safe and unharmed. Uh, following a protective incident shortly before 2 p.m. on Sunday at Trump International Golf Club at West Palm Beach. Uh, the U.S. Secret Service personnel opened fire on a gunman located near the property line, and this matter is under investigation. In the bushes where this guy was is an AK-47 style rifle with a scope, two backpacks which were hung on the fence that had a ceramic tile in them, and a GoPro which he was going to take pictures of. So those are being processed right now. The Secret Service agent that was on the course did a fantastic job. What they do is they have an agent that jumps one hole ahead of time to where the president was at. And he was able to spot this rifle barrel sticking out of the fence and immediately engage that individual, at which time the individual took off. We have somebody in custody right now that is a potential suspect. We got a little bit more work to do on it. What we need right now is for the public to avoid the area around the golf course. We will continue to support this investigation with the full resources of the FBI. Alongside our partners with the United States Secret Service and the Palm Beach Sheriff's Office, as well as Martin County Sheriff's Office and state and local law enforcement. Yes, this is absolutely incredible. This is absolutely insane. And um, what I want to see, what I want to see, the question this is once again, why? I keep asking that for a reason. Why is President Trump being in our lifetime, being uh, their attempts on his life? It's because the media and the Democrats have called him Hitler. They said he's a threat an existence. I keep missing this word up, but existential threat to their democracy. First of all, we're a constitutional republic, but they keep telling you we're a democracy and they keep parroting that mess uh, because it, it works. And of course, they have the media in their pockets, so they're going to help keep parroting that garbage. But anyway, I digress. Why do they keep going after him? You should ask yourself that reason. Oh, because they said he's the devil. Compare apples to apples uh, and look at what they say. Listen to the rhetoric. The left side spews and listen to what Trump says. Listen to what some of his supporters says. Listen to people who are former Democrats. 
Of course, you can listen to people who are former Republicans too. But listen to this, the information for yourself. Oh, wait, wait, wait. They want to keep you from being able to listen so that you don't judge for yourself. See, if I was on the other side of the aisle, I'm on the side of truth. Okay. So if I was on the uh, leftist side of the aisle, I would feel completely disrespected that these folks are taking the dis right for me to decide who I want to represent me on a national level or any level, per per uh, period. They want to take my right to choose away from me. Why? Because they want to control it. That's it. The name of the game is power and control by whatever means necessary. And I want to play this video here again. Um, just for us to remember that just a short while ago, two months ago, almost to the date, they first tried to assassinate President Trump on live TV. What happened? Oh. Pray for Trump, everybody. Pray for Trump and his family. Pray. We need God. Pray. Y'all, this is insane. We just witnessed a. I got you, sir. I got you, though. Let's listen in. Let's listen in. Hold that in your head. Sir, we gotta move to the clock. Watch out. Trump is still giving his, the, his supporters hope. He's saying, hey, I'm okay, I'm fine. He's giving us hope. But y'all, we need to pray for Trump and his family, and we need to pray heavily for America. Such, such an amazing moment. Such an amazing historic moment. This just happened two months ago, and how conveniently people forget and go right back to their lives as if nothing happened. Now, again, I'm not suggesting we should sit around and lollygag and whine and complain or anything like that. I do suggest that we really consider what's taking place in this country. This kind of stuff happens in other countries, not the United States, or does it? What is Trump truly a threat? Uh, who is Trump truly a threat to? Is it the American people? Is it the Constitution? Or is it the enemy? the enemies of the American people or the Constitution and the Constitution. Last, I'm going to play video from Mrs. Donald Trump, Ms. Melania Trump, where she said after the first incident took place, I don't know if she'll come back with another statement uh, for the, after the second attempt, but uh, what she says here still resonates. It's very, and it's, 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 it's interesting. Very intelligent person. The attempt to end my husband's life was a horrible, distressing experience. Now, the silence around it feels heavy. I can't help but wonder, why didn't law enforcement officials arrest the shooter before the speech? There is definitely more to this story, and we need to uncover the truth. 100%, everybody. 100%. That's a very good question. The second assassination attempt. Why was he allowed to get so close? Yes, he, the reports have come out so far that he's been, he was about 300 to 500 yards away from President Trump. I also understand he hid in the bush. So it was hard to make him out. 
But from what I understand, or at least there's another report I've heard that after the first assassination attempt, Joe Biden supposedly uh, authorized presidential types of uh, Secret Service protection around Kamala Harris and President Trump. We know it's not around President Trump. I don't know about Harris, but they're not trying to kill Harris. No right wing right wingers are trying to kill Biden or Harris. And yet they're going after President Trump. You must ask yourself this question is how much of a threat is he really to me or to you? Now, he's it's the deep state, the swamp. The globalist. Y'all, this is real. Now, before I end, I want to do something and I want to pray. I want to pray to my king, the Lord Jesus Christ. Um, and I'm praying for all Americans, whether you agree or disagree, whether you know Christ or not. All of us are important to the Lord. All of our lives have value. And um, this country is headed in a place that many never could have conceived. Uh, most do not believe. And um, some only dreamt as it was more like a night potential nightmare. So let's please bow your heads. Heavenly Father, I pray in the name of Jesus that you will be with the American people. First of all, be with President Trump and his family, those who are connected to his uh, administration, his, his campaign team. I pray, Father, for the guidance of, uh, I pray for the souls and hearts and minds also in guidance for the Biden administration. That you will lead them, Lord, help them make the right decisions, Lord, to direct this country in the way that you see fit. I pray, Lord, for the hearts and minds of the American people, that they would seek your face, that we as a nation will humble ourselves before you and ask for your forgiveness and receive your guidance and your instruction. Let the hearts fill with bitterness and hatred and division, slanderous words, corruption. Let the wicked deeds of darkness be exposed in the light. Extend mercy, compassion, and grace. And, and also I pray for justice. Especially for those who are unrepentant, Lord. The truth must come to the light. The nation must prayerfully be united. I also pray, Lord, that the potential wars is about this uh, brewing with Russia, with China, and other the areas in the Middle East. I pray, Father, that your will be done. Lead and guide our leaders to make decisions that will help us. I pray for the church leaders, those who profess your name, Lord, that they will seek your face, Father. Learn, know how to give them wisdom to guide their sheep or the people they pastor over. I pray for those who've compromised, Lord, that they will return back to your foundational values, your the core values, which is your word, which is truth. I pray for unbelievers as well as believers. I pray for the unbelievers, Lord, that their hearts and minds turn toward you, not out of religion, but out of relationship. And I pray, Lord, that you would Silence the voices of fear and panic. And let the hearts and minds be filled with your love, comfort, faith, and trust in you. In Jesus' name I pray. And I thank you. And I thank those of you who agree with me. Let us say, Amen. God bless you. I'll see you soon.